looks like it's that time of year again. The weather outside may be frightful, but we're all excited for holiday foods because they're, well, delightful. At least, holiday foods are known for their delightful tastes, but what about their nutrition, or lack thereof? You've probably guessed that there's a wide range of holiday-themed desserts that will flood your bloodstream with sugar, like a bunch of presents being stuffed down a chimney. But did you know that there are traditional holiday dinners, which can also hurt your health? That's why we're about to reveal 10 of the most unhealthy and harmful holiday foods to watch out for, especially if you are worried about diabetes. Make sure to like this vid and subscribe to the Diabetes Smarts channel. Plus, stick around to learn how you can receive two free gifts from the Diabetes Smarts Santa. Right now, it's time to present, or present, the top 10 most unhealthy holiday foods for diabetics. Number 10. Candy Canes Yeah, this one is pretty obvious, because candy canes are obviously, well, pure candy. This is the quintessential holiday treat. Who doesn't remember growing up surrounded by these unique snacks during the holiday season? But you may think, because they're tiny, they'll only give you a small dose of sugar. Unfortunately, no. Most candy cane brands don't contain any fat or protein, but boy do they pack in the sugar. One single candy cane could give you 12 grams of carbs and 10 grams of sugar. That means eating just three candy canes could give you more added sugar than you should be consuming in a day. Plus, the sugar within candy canes will most assuredly be coming from those extremely unhealthy, highly refined sweetening agents, like corn syrup. And don't let the minty flavor fool you either. It may feel refreshing for your breath, but the high sugar content won't be doing your teeth any favors either. Number 9. Candied Yams When choosing your holiday potatoes, yams can be a healthy substitute for those more starchy white potatoes. Plus, they come loaded with beneficial nutrients, from vitamin C to potassium. And they're also an excellent source of fiber, containing 6 grams per cup. But the key word here is candied. Yeah, that doesn't exactly sound very healthy, does it? Candied yams get the special holiday treatment, that being a huge helping of added sugar. Most candied yam recipes call for six full cups of simple sugar. This means a single serving of candied yams could give you close to 40 grams of added sugar. And for those keeping score, that's over the limit of the recommended daily added sugar intake for both men and women. And let's not forget that most recipes call for large doses of both sodium and butter. So yeah, that one serving of candied yams can contain upwards of 400 calories. That makes this savory and sweet dinner side more like a high-carb dessert. Number 8. Potato Pancakes Ah, holiday fried potatoes, or as those who celebrate Hanukkah call them, latkes. One medium potato pancake, which is still quite small, will bestow upon you about 100 calories and 5 grams of fat. However, while it's supplying you with about a gram of saturated fat, the bulk of the fat content will come in the form of mono and polyunsaturated fats. Therefore, while this holiday delicacy can give you a large helping of fat, it's at least giving you more healthy varieties than some other wintertime treats. However, you're still eating fried white potato with this snack. That means you'll be receiving 10 grams of carbs and only about 1 gram of fiber. So, these starchy snacks could raise your blood sugar in a relatively short amount of time. Plus, oftentimes, latkes are smothered in high-fat sour cream or syrupy, sugar-laden applesauce. Luckily, as most all latkes are usually homemade, often from mom's or grandma's recipe, you can take control of the nutrition within. That means, for a healthier holiday fried potato, you could simply swap out the canola oil for more heart-healthy oils, like olive oil. Or you could even skip the shallow fry and bake your potato cakes instead. Also, if you are making your own potato pancakes, try swapping out the starchy white potato for a more diabetic-friendly sweet potato. 
Plus, you can cut back on extra fat by skipping the sour cream. You can also lower the added sugar amount by avoiding those prepackaged, highly processed applesauce products and making your own applesauce instead. Number 7. Gingerbread Yeah, what would Christmas time be without some gingerbread cookies or a gingerbread house? Well, a less carby holiday season, that's for sure. Ginger, on its own, is a wonderful spice to include in an anti-diabetes diet. However, we're talking about baked goods here. From gingerbread loaves, to cakes, and cookies. And they all tend to include butter and refined sugar. So these treats are basically another bready holiday staple which could add extra saturated fat to your day and possibly spike your blood sugar. A single gingerbread man could contain about 5 grams of fat and about 15 grams of carbohydrates. A slice of gingerbread could give you over 35 grams of carbs, about 20 of those grams coming from simple sugars. And let's not forget that gingerbread cookies and cakes tend to have high sugar frostings added on top. But given that gingerbread's main ingredients tend to include super spices, like, of course, ginger, plus cinnamon, cloves, nutmeg, and cardamom, you'll at least be gaining more nutritional value from gingerbread than you would with other processed dessert foods. And if you avoid the store-bought packaged varieties, making your own gingerbread at home could help you replace the refined sugars and white flour with healthier alternatives, like coconut sugar and almond flour. Number 6. Creamed Spinach Spinach is one of the best leafy greens for your health, but once you add the cream, most of the positive nutrition can be negated. Though relatively simple and quick to whip up, adding cream cheese, heavy cream, and other dairy products adds a ton of saturated fat content to your otherwise healthy spinach. Creamed spinach typically contains at least two full tablespoons of butter and three tablespoons of white flour. That's a one-two gut punch of saturated fat and processed sugar. All told, you could be eating up to 75% of your saturated fat daily allotment with just one serving of this holiday dinner side staple. So if you and your family can't live without this on your dinner table this winter time, maybe it's best to switch out those high fat cheeses, creams, and white flour ingredients for more diabetic friendly options like feta or mozzarella cheese and almond or coconut flour. Numbers 5 to 1 are on the way, but here's an early holiday gift or two just for you. Get the right foods onto your plate this new year and beyond with the help of our new book, Superfoods for Diabetics. Plus, discover a world of knowledge about diabetes and your health with episode one of our eight-part series, That Diabetes Documentary. Both gifts are free and ready for you right now. Just click the link in the description below. And now, on with the show. Number five, glazed ham. Plenty of families make glazed ham the centerpiece of their holiday feast. It's easy to see why. Ham, on its own, can be a healthy option for diabetics, as it's relatively low in calories and fat. A typical serving can contain about 120 calories and 4 grams of fat. But most cuts of ham are cured with a ton of salt and are highly processed, making them high in nitrates and other chemicals which can raise your risk of cancer and diabetes. Plus, glazed ham is smothered in high sugar syrups in order to achieve that deliciously sweet coating. In fact, just six ounces of this dinner meat could give you six full grams of sugar. And the anti-nutrition of glazed ham doesn't end with the sugary coating. A single slice could also load your system with a ton of sodium, sometimes up to a full gram of salt, which is roughly equal to 45% of your daily recommended intake. But again, if you're the cook this holiday season, you can control which ingredients make it into your glazed ham. Instead of a brown sugar or processed maple syrup coating, try a natural honey and whole grain mustard glaze. Number four, fruitcake. Ah yes, that holiday tradition. Most people tend to skip the fruitcake these days, but if you're still in the habit of grabbing a slice of this cake, 
thinking because it's got fruit in the name, that makes it healthy, well, think again. Just one slice of certain varieties of packaged fruitcake could be giving you almost 15 grams of fat and over 400 calories. Like other baked goods, fruitcake tends to be made with white flour, and the fruit within is usually the dried variety. Dried fruits are not a great choice for diabetics, as the dehydration process actually multiplies the sugar amount and decreases the fiber content. Plus, most fruitcakes also include a bit of sugary sweet liquor, like rum or brandy. This adds to the carb and calorie count, and could work towards spiking your blood sugar. According to the USDA, just a one ounce slice of home cooked fruitcake could give you over 90 calories, about 17 grams of total carbs, and about 2.5 grams of total fat. So, as with everything else this holiday season, be sure to watch your portion of this wintertime classic. Number 3. Coffee Dessert Drinks The new holiday tradition seems to include heading to your favorite coffee chain and throwing down several dollars for one of their addictive dessert concoctions. Peppermint mochas, gingerbread fraps, pumpkin spice lattes, and even caramel apple ciders all sound warm and wonderful on a cold Christmas morning. But of course, they'll all be full of and topped with simple sugars and calorie-rich syrups. Without naming names, a certain brand of caramel apple cider could completely flood your system with 140 calories and a whopping 35 grams of carbs, almost all of which are pure sugar. With absolutely zero fiber content, drinks like these will skyrocket your blood sugar in no time at all. Some larger holiday season coffee drinks have even been reported to contain upwards of 500 calories and 75 grams of sugar. And let's not forget that chances are they'll be topped with a hefty helping of whipped cream. That can add not just extra sugar to your drink, but also a decent quantity of saturated fat. In fact, just 100 grams of whipped cream could contain almost 20 grams of saturated fat, almost 100% of the recommended daily allotment. So, this holiday season, you can enjoy your coffee treats here and there, but it's probably best to stick with good old homemade unsweetened coffee with almond or coconut milk, instead of rushing out to grab a whole bunch of these store-bought sugar-filled junk drinks. Number 2. Eggnog. Which holiday drink could be even more unhealthy than those store-bought coffees? Try, or rather maybe don't try, store-bought eggnog. Eggnog is made from, of course, eggs, but also milk or cream, usually some amount of liquor, and naturally lots and lots of sugar. For most any type of eggnog, you're looking at a sugar content of about 20 grams. Traditional brand eggnogs can contain upwards of 220 calories per serving and about 11 grams of fat, most of which is saturated fat. And the cholesterol content could be as high as 150 milligrams, or 50% of your recommended daily intake. But if you prefer that homemade eggnog, which will probably contain a high-calorie, high-sugar spirit, like brandy or rum, that will only serve to raise the sugar and calorie contents. One cup of alcoholic eggnog could contain over 390 calories, 12 grams of fat, and almost 38 grams of sugar. Though prepackaged varieties of eggnog sold in grocery stores won't typically contain any alcohol, they're still very often loaded with emulsifiers, preservatives, and other unhealthy chemicals. Another possible health concern for eggnog, especially homemade eggnog, comes from the fact that the eggs within are raw, not cooked. So there's a chance that your cup of eggnog won't just give you some holiday cheer, but also some food poisoning. So if you're making your own eggnog, instead of using raw eggs and full-fat dairy, you could create a vegan option with plant-based milks, like almond or cashew milk and coconut cream. And you could also trim out the added sugar by avoiding the alcohol. But at the end of the day, this holiday drink favorite, though deliciously creamy, could send your blood sugar straight up the chimney and push you closer towards a Santa bod. Ho, ho, ho. 
And now, let's unwrap the most unhealthy holiday food for diabetics. Number 1. Pecan Pie What holiday dinner table isn't complete without this wintertime dessert? And yet, many nutritionists consider pecan pie to be just about the most unhealthy dessert out there. Why? Unfortunately, just because it contains normally healthy pecans, the bulk of this pie is pure carbohydrate. A single slice of pecan pie could contain over 30 grams of sugar. While pecans can have plenty of nutritional value, with good amounts of potassium, iron, and calcium, they are still a high-fat, high-calorie, high-carb nut. One cup of pecans alone contains about 680 calories and 70 grams of fat. But once you add them to a pie and slather on those high-sugar syrup coatings, you're negating any positive nutrition. In fact, one tiny slice of pecan pie might be stuffed with upwards of 500 calories. You may also be looking at that one slice giving you over 25 grams of fat. After all, pecan pie, like any other unhealthy baked goods, is basically just eggs and carbohydrates. From the large amounts of milk, butter, corn syrup, white flour, and other added sugars. That means it will most likely skyrocket your blood sugar while adding a hefty fat and cholesterol helping to your holiday dinner. Instead, maybe try pumpkin pie. This other holiday pie tradition will still contain a large dose of both fat and carbs, but in general, it will contain less calories than the amazingly delicious yet incredibly unhealthy pecan pie. Well, that's our naughty list for the holidays. Of course, at the end of the day, or, you know, at the end of the year, there's really no escape from other high-carb, high-fat holiday sweet treats. From cinnamon rolls, to hot chocolate, even to gravy. So, make sure to enjoy yourself this holiday season. Just try to watch your portions and be mindful of what you're eating. Don't forget to subscribe to Diabetes Smarts and make sure to unwrap your two presents, Superfoods for Diabetics and Episode 1 of That Diabetes Documentary. Just click the link below. Thanks for watching, and from all of us here at Diabetes Smarts, we wish you and your loved ones a happy and healthy holiday season.